How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a Blood Angel Space Marine. I want to apologize for not being able to upload anything this couple weeks, but I've been very busy with school and uh, yeah, I'm back again and I'm gonna show you how to paint a Space Marine. I really enjoyed this one. I think uh, I've been improving my techniques on painting and I'm gonna share them with you. Please leave a comment to let me know what you think. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Now, as always, I'm going to start with the plant grade miniature. And what I'm going to do is to apply a base coat of Mephiston Red. Remember that you can always uh, skip over these uh, steps if you have an airbrush or if you have uh, a spray primer of the color that is uh, similar to this color. So you don't have to do all of these uh, steps that I do. I do them because I don't want to spend on the uh, army painter stuff. But they would be quite handy if you're trying to make a really large army of blood angels for example. Remember to thin down your paint because we don't want to uh, have a very uh, thick coat of paint so that it doesn't uh, obscure any detail. After that, I'm going to give it a ball red wash, or Karabur Crimson, I think that's the name of the new color, and I'm going to wash all of the red parts. As you, as you can see, I left the uh, bolter alone, so, because it's going to be another color anyway, there's no point on painting it. As always, this is a very easy step just let the wash uh, settle on the recesses and you'll be good to go. Next step, I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet and Mephiston Red and I'm going to mix them one to one. And I'm going to apply it on the uh, most of the area from the armor, focusing on the, the points that were will be hit by most light. Try to avoid the uh, recesses there. And this time I change things a little bit, usually I use... Uh, just glaze medium to thin down my paint and, and it works quite well but uh, this time I used a mix of one to one to one one, one paint, one uh, glaze medium and one water. This way you can use uh, thinner layers with uh, less, uh, less lines between the, your colors. You can see smoother transitions if you use the colors like this. Um, this is the first time that I've done this. Usually I only use a glaze medium to give it transparency, but this time I found that this worked very well for me. If you want to try it out, go ahead. If you just want to uh, paint it fast, just uh, use water or glaze medium if you, if you like. But 
if you're having trouble with the uh, transition with the uh, lines between the reds try this uh, it really worked well for me and I used it all all across the uh, the miniature where I have to layer different colors of paint for uh, transitions Now that that's done, I'm going to use just Evil Sun Scarlet, again thin down with my mix 111, glaze medium, water and paint, and I'm starting to hi highlight uh, towards the edges where the most light will hit. Uh, if you have seen my videos, you know which parts of the armor I usually uh, highlight. And just, um, I'm highlighting about maybe half of the uh, area. You can highlight as much as you want but always remember to highlight less than the uh, previous highlight. When you're done, you're gonna have a miniature that looks something like this. Now next, in the last step for these, uh, for the red armor, I'm going to edge highlight all of the edges that I find for the armor with Wild Rider Red. Try to use your uh, finest brush and um, just highlight all of the edges. It doesn't matter if uh, they are in the dark, they are still kind of reflect some light, well in my opinion. I like to do it this way, I think it, they show very nice. Now this is the miniature with the uh, armor already painted. I think it will, looks very nice and uh, if you want to see the rest of the tutorial just follow the link and thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for, for part 2, please like, comment and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you on the next video.